Sergei is finally taking his first steps after months of treatment. His left leg was shattered by shrapnel in August 2016 when he stepped on a grenade. From that day on, Sergei was forced to stay in bed in order to allow his bones to heal. There are only two centimeters left. We started at 10. Volodymyr Kuzilny arrived at the Mishnikov hospital in the spring of 2017 after receiving a head wound. He has already undergone several neurosurgical operations, one of which consisted of placing a titanium plate in his skull. Volodymyr almost stood up on his own after this surgery and did not waste any time to thank the people who save his brothers in arms on a daily basis. Well, now I am the same as I was before. I am very grateful to the doctors of this hospital for saving my brother's lives. There weren't any doctors who had experienced treating patients like this before the war. Neurosurgeon Andrei Sirko explains how he had to learn military medicine between operations, almost on the spot. We had to go back and study wartime cases all the way from World War II, study Soviet medicine, then the war in Afghanistan, the war in Chechnya, the war in Iraq, and the war in Vietnam, all in just one or two weeks. Physicians often had to perform surgeries on several soldiers simultaneously. After the Ilovaisk trap, the operating room had eight tables deployed at once. The number of admissions was incredible. There were days when hundreds of people just poured in, transforming the place from a civilian hospital to a military one. Since May 2014, more than two and a half thousand gravely wounded soldiers were treated in the Mishnikov hospital, although they still remember their first patients. It was on the 9th of May. We received more than 20 fighters, and at that time we did not have the equipment for artificial ventilation, so we had to collect it from the entire region. In peacetime, this sort of equipment is barely needed, and certainly not in that amount. That is when we saw the real face of war, the burning smell, so much blood, and torn organs. After being discharged from the hospital, many soldiers returned to the front line. The number of wounded has drastically decreased in the last few months, and there is hope that the Mishnikov hospital will go back to a more normal activity once again.